Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com here to show you how to apply vignettes in Lightroom and all the things that you can do with them to your photos. So let's dive right in. Um, before we apply a vignette to this photo, I like to make my all of my adjustments first. So any kind of coloring, sharpening, you name it. And vignette is usually the last thing on the menu. So let's work through this photo really quick. I always use presets because it really speeds up my workflow and adds cohesiveness to my photos, which I want. So I'm going to be using my Storyteller collection. This collection has a few um, presets with a vignette, but I'm going to show you how to apply your own. But I'm going to click on my sharpening preset. This just sharpens it instantly instead of going over here and doing it myself. Um, I'm also going to choose one of these presets. Let's see. Now this preset collection does offer a lot of different styles, timeless colors, more muted greens and such. So if this is not your style, you don't need to leave a comment and say, I like the before better. It looks so much more natural. I'm just showing you guys, okay? So let's just keep it light. Um, I'm gonna use ST3. Yes, the greens aren't natural, but for the sake of looking more vintage, I love it. The skin tones still look really great. We haven't lost any of that uh, in the skin tones, so why not? Why not use this preset? Okay, so this looks pretty good before and after. We got all the yellows out of it, but the skin tones still look really good. Now I want to apply a vignette. So over here in your little uh, drop down menus, I have all of mine selected or open. Um, is the effects panel and this is where you can apply vignetting basically a vignetting happens naturally in camera if you're using a wide angle lens so I like to apply a little bit of vignetting to all of my photos it just creates more depth and it really draws you um, the viewer looking at the photo into the subject so it kind of creates depth and your eyes move naturally towards the center so over here you have all these different sliders, the amount slider, basically how much you want to add. So the le going to the left is going to give you a darker vignette, going to the right is going to give you a white vignette. Please don't use the white vignette, that's very like 90s. Um, <laughs> unless you want your photos to look like that, um, I suggest using a darker vignette. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I'm going to choose a very dark vignette just to show you. Okay, so the midpoint slider, you can see where the midpoint is being. Like, if you could go over to the right, it's going to draw out the vignette more. Now this is gonna be like more natural. Um, there's not a lot of in-camera vignettes that are this heavy. So I usually have my midpoint at least halfway and then kind of tweak it as I go further. Okay, the roundness speaks for itself, um, how round or square it is. So least amount of roundness, you're going to have this, okay? This is like an old style photo as well. Let's just keep it about here, okay? And the feather. Feathering is basically how much it's feathered around the edges here. Now, 100% feathering, you're going to have, it's going to be softer. 0%, it's going to have a very dark line. So I usually have my feathering very, very high up, if not all the way to 100%. Depends on you, the photo, and whatever. The highlights, it's basically if you have highlights that are showing through your vignette or not. I always have this at zero because I don't want my highlights showing through. So in this case, now that you understand or know what these sliders stand for, I'm going to just adjust this how I would normally apply a vignette. That still might be too heavy. You don't want it too much, but just a little bit can make all the difference. I'm going to create a virtual copy just to show you what we did before we applied the vignette. So that's the before vignette and that's after. It just adds some contrast. It adds a little bit of darkness around the edges and it really helps to pull 
the viewer in towards the center, okay? And that's all we did. So if you want, um, if you apply a vignette and you say, you know, you wanted to crop your image, okay? I would normally crop this image just a little bit. The great thing about this is when you crop it, the vignette applies to the crop as well. So you're not cropping the vignette, it just gets applied to the crop that you did. Okay, I'm gonna actually crop it this way because I want their faces more. There we go. So anyways, that's a really easy way to add more depth, create more texture in your photos just by using um, the vignette under the effects panel. So if you found this helpful, make sure that you give it a thumbs up, follow my channel for future Lightroom tutorials that are simple and easy to do, and leave a comment. Unless it's about my greens, I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> I respect your opinion, but I can only hear that so many times. I like the before better. <laughs> I know. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.